A couple of days ago, I talked about the situation with Verbalaze commissioning a $50,000 piece of himself as a self-insert in an animation based on Has Been Hotel, where the main character Charlie is basically chasing him, flirting with him, and then it ends with them together on a bed, and you can guess what happens. Now, a lot has happened since then, but Verbalaze, for the most part, seemed to have went completely silent. But now, he has emerged from his cave, his cavern, and he has gave... Quite a weird response. It's not an amazing response. It's not a terrible response. It is definitely one of the most response of all time. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Verbal Ace. Um, oh my gosh. It's Damn, he gave us... He gave us a 2K apology video. My man. It's been a very crazy time of year. I've been getting a lot of emails that got me emotional, but not in the way you think. It's a lot of people coming out to support me. Not as much as him. I'm- I'm not joking, I'm not even doing a bit, genuinely, if you added up all the commissions I've got, it probably is somewhere near 50k, or maybe over 50k. Like, not even joking. But on a single commission, no. <laughs> De definitely not. ...during these difficult times, uh, with all the slander, defamation, and allegations being made against me. I was expecting everybody to, like, just believe in everything they read online, but instead a lot of people were emailing me saying that they still support me. And that honestly made me want to cry, and it all- You could have gived that money to me. Uh, when you learn a little bit more English, Adam Fraser, maybe. Also made me want to make this video for everybody that's still a fan of me. First off, I want to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to you guys for still supporting me. And second off, I want to sincerely apologize for my statements made online about my opinions with some of the stuff going on out there, but I realized my opinions was based on a broad perspective because I've been watching other other YouTube channels, you know, talk about uh, stuff going on in Hollywood and that kind of influenced my own state of mind when I started making these comments out there. So I'm like, wait, I'm, I'm a Buddhist. I believe every- What does this have to do with anything, bro? What does this have to do with anything? Like, he is, he is actually god of yapping right now. What, what does this have to do with anything at all? Like, he's talking about being Buddhist, he's talking about, like, Hollywood, like... The, the, the fact that he's putting himself on the same level as Hollywood with Thanos beatboxing. Everybody should be at peace with you. Someone said they're getting distracted, they need Subway Surfers gameplay. Each other. Instead of focusing on our similarities, I was focusing more on our differences which caused me to make those statements out there. And I am sincerely sorry for that because that is not how I should be behaving as a person. We're all here for a reason. I, I didn't see any statements he put out that are bad. Did anyone see any? I just saw like, uh, him admitting that he paid like around 50K. That's it. That, that, that's genuinely all I saw. I myself was bullied in high school just for being myself. Um, I was a nerd, a geeky kid. I didn't walk, talk, and act like all the other kids. And I got bullied and picked on for that. And it's kind of weird that I didn't find the similarity. To be fair, most YouTubers are like the bottom of the social ladder. Oh, he's probably addressing the... Oh, that's right. He made like some vague transphobic stuff, right? Like he was never direct about it, but yeah. It's like shilling Andrew Tate as well. Yeah, I, I, I keep being asked about this as well. Like, do you know how many people, like, at me every day? Because I follow Andrew Tate and I follow libs of TikTok on Twitter. And I get so many people being like, why do you follow him? What, 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 why do you follow this account? Why, why, why? And it's like, <laughs> first of all, you don't dictate who I follow. You don't need an answer to who I follow. You don't control that. And secondly as well, like, I think it's pretty obvious that everyone, like, when you follow someone, you don't support them. Like, there's so many people on Twitter that I follow. There's so many people on Twitter that I follow that I just, uh, I either mute immediately or I follow them because it's like keeping tabs. And there are people that do that with me. There are people that do not like me that follow me on Twitter to keep tabs on me. It's, it's a normal thing. Clarity in what other people out there may be going through just because you're not acting how somebody else thinks you should act because I went through that. But I got influenced through, you know, social media, articles and different videos out there instead of thinking with my own authentic mind. And I really do apologize for that because I'm not that kind of person. I've never been that person in my past 
videos on YouTube and everything like that. So, but I am human being. Uh, just because I'm an influencer doesn't mean I'm not going to make mistakes. Uh, but I am taking... Twitter's pure brain rot. Yeah, I just don't check it anymore. I don't check it. I, I, I check uh, I check my notification. Every time I check notifications, the only things I get is someone has drawn my character fat or there is like fat art of a character that people are tagging me in. That's it. I just tweet on there for impressions pretty much. Like I made this point before, but there are so many YouTubers that like don't use the site anymore like uh alpha rad uh j schlatt like they'll go on it and they'll lurk it but they don't like actively use it experience to learn from it and grow from it uh i'm not going to take it as somebody going to be defeated like why would you let an experience defeat you you should let it make you grow as a person and that's what i'm going to do from now on instead of what one thing he he really should have done here which he's like ignoring is he should have really just addressed how embarrassing it is. Because he's, he's talking about it like... He's talking about it like someone broke into his house. You know, talking about it on such a personal level. Like, I, I agree, this should have never been a drama in the first place. Like, like, it's just funny, embarrassing, that's it. Like, if he just sat there and said, Okay, this is kind of cringe. I'm a bit of a simp. Like, like what, what, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It, it, it's like with Leafy, when people kept making fun of Leafy's chin. Like, like once he became self-aware about it, it's like people kind of just dropped it. Or like how with Jake Paul, uh, with that God Church lyric he had in It's Every Day, Bro, he started selling it as merch, and then the meme died straight away. Once you're self-aware about a bit, it pretty much just dies. But yeah, if he rolled with the punches and he was like, you know, th this is really cringe, I spent 50k, that's a lot of money, uh, you know... I, I just I like this character, this fictional character. Then th that that'd be it. What what can you do? He, he's owning up. But like doing this whole like you know talking about how he's bullied at school, how he's Buddhist. It's like, come on, little bro, what are you doing? Focusing on our natural differences, I'm gonna focus on our similarities. That's what I'm gonna focus on from now on. Regarding the video, um, this actually was started in 2021 by a company called. In Paris case, it doesn't work. I mean, it does. I get free art from it, so it does work. Cough or something, and it was finished in 2022. I was tinkering with the notion back then of making a separate YouTube channel that was intended for a more mature, older audience. So when the video was completed in 2022, I made a separate YouTube channel, marked the video as not made for kids. You have to be 18 older and up to watch it for obvious reasons. I think the video was even unlisted. <sighs> After it was up for a while, I was like, I don't know if I really want to do this because I still want to focus on the other stuff. So I deleted the video and deleted the channel. Um, little did I know somebody saw the video and downloaded it and re-uploaded it and made it public. on. Okay, whoever did that needs like a Medal of Valor. We need to find... <laughs> We need to find who this person is. They need to be given a medal of valor. That man, whew, he should be promoted to general straight away. On my birthday and decided to tag me in the video. But again, this video was intended for a mature audience. And I wanted to just like put some different type of content out there separate from my YouTube channel. The videos out there, judge how you will, but I'm still going to be making cartoon beatbox battles. Puppet beatbox battles. There's still going to be Five Nights at Freddy's videos. My <laughs> There's still going to be Five Nights at Freddy's videos, guys. Like and subscribe. My main YouTube channels is always going to be featured cartoon beatbox animation, puppet beatbox. I, I respect, I respect he's taking it so well. It's, to, to be fair, it's, it's nowhere near as embarrassing as the stuff that I commissioned. So... It's a lot more normal, but it is still... It's funny because it's has been hotel. Animation or me doing... No, 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 no. All that stuff. <laughs> okay, that was a good bit. That was a good bit. So, but yeah, that's literally everything. I'm going to be moving on from this. I'm just going to keep uploading. Everything's a learning experience. I know everything happens for a reason. So everything that happened within the last week is meant to teach me a lesson. I'm supposed to grow from this. I'm not supposed to be defeated. We're not supposed to be defeated from anything that happens to us. So you can bet- Again, he's talking about it like it's a spiritual journey. Like he found Jesus or something. Like, I, like, like he's talking like, um, like a heroin addict that relapsed and he's really sorry. But 
So much waffling, just say it's embarrassing. Best believe I am 100% <laughs> going to keep going with cartoon beatbox battles, puppet beatbox battles, everything. There's verbal ace is not done. I'm sure people out there want me to be canceled and quit, but you know, the only way we can truly be defeated is from ourselves if we decide to quit ourselves. And I'm not doing that, so sorry to dis. Look, he's he's pulling up who who is. Who is Paulio? Who is that? I want to I wanna see who this is. He's pulling up, like, quotes from God now. Hang on. So he is now pulling up quotes from the Brazilian lyricist Paulio Co Coelho. So he's wrote books like 11 Minutes, The Pilgrimage. 76-year-old man. So he's pulling up quotes from him now. You are not defeated when you lose. You are defeated when you quit. But I'm going to keep going. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for taking the time. God, that's where I went wrong. When I, when I did my response video in 2020, I, I should have pulled up like quotes from Gandhi or something. Damn, that's where I went wrong. The response is coming. My response too, finally. Hey everyone, it's Verbal A's. And I gotta tell you, it's been a very challenging, emotional and motivational week for me. Ooh, motivational, okay. He's, he's turning a negative into a positive, okay. I've learned so much from everything that has happened the past few weeks. Why why is he talking about he's got like an AIDS diagnosis? Like like this he got caught commissioning something embarrassing. That's it. Why is he doing like a speech? This is like what a a, a villain would give in a Kojima game. At the end of the day, we are all human beings. <laughs> well, and there are different types of people out there, and I cannot and should not judge people for who they truly feel they are. I mean, that's what happened with me during most of my year in school. I got bullied and picked on for not walking and acting like how everyone else thinks I should act. A lot of people have reached out to me from many different backgrounds and personal choices and religi religious view. I don't understand this. I don't... I don't understand. Like, he's he's talking about it like it's the end of the world or something. Like, bro, you commissioned, like, cringe. That's it. It's like, like, he commissions a video of, like, Sonic and Knuckles, like, farting or something. And he's like, well, due to religious views, I'm happy to say that people still support me. And they're all starting stating that they still support me regardless of what is being said about me on the internet and i want to express my sincere gratitude and appreciation to all of you and also apologize for my statements made on social media regarding my opinions on what's going on in the world oh that's right yeah he made some like i i, I forget exactly what he was saying but it was just like andrew tate le good kind of stuff uh, which is kind of ironic if you're doing animations of like you know cartoon characters and has been hotel and stuff like that you know, like, the has-been hotel community, or Hell of a Boss, or whatever, it seems to be so left-leaning, I actually don't know a single person that, like, stands them, and doesn't have pronouns. Like, I saw a video on my recommended today, and it was like, uh, there's like a character in has-been hotel called Alistair, it's like a radio demon, right? And it was like, uh, it had like half a million views in a day, and it was like, Alistair being an arrow ace queen for five minutes. So it's a pretty it's a pretty left leaning community, and then obviously he's he's going on like you know being all red pilled like Andrew Tate le good like <laughs> that was that was always a recipe for complete disaster. I did take the time to have some conversations and dialogue with many of my fans in the community about what the end goal was, and I was told that everyone just wants to find their purpose and express who they are at heart, and that is something I truly resonate with. Instead of focusing on differences, I should be focused more on our similarities, and that's what I'm going to do from now on. Regarding the video, I never personally released the video on any of my main YouTube channels because of the video context. I was tinkering with the idea of making a separate channel dedicated for a more mature audience, but after the YouTube video was finished in 2022 and uploaded on a private separate channel and marked as not made for kids, I still decided against it and took it down. Does he, does he mark his content as made for kids? Surely not. When you mark a video made for kids, that's like, that means made for kids. That, 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 that's not like a Marvel film where like anyone can watch it. It is something that is literally only children are meant to watch, like Peppa Pig or something. I still decided against it and took it down. But while it was up, so somebody downloaded it 
made it public and then tagged me. I believe everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I believe everything happens for a reason. Like Charlie from Hasbin Hotel dominating me in the bedroom. And it has been one of the most incredible experiences I'm evolving from. And I'm 100% going to keep going. I love you all so much and I sincerely appreciate your emails encouraging me to evolve and learn from this experience. Thank you all so much for taking the time to write and teaching me. Much love and respect. He's also linked an apology video. Uh, he's literally 40. Yeah, I, I see that as a common argument, which is kind of true, because I, I, I always assumed that someone making this would like be in their late 20s, like mid-30s. Charlie wants to dominate him. No, not critical. There's a character in Has Been called Charlie. Yeah, I watched uh, Has Been Hotel for the first time yesterday. There's like four episodes out on Amazon Prime. I was going to release like a mini review on it. I think maybe tomorrow or something. But there is so much swearing in that show. I it, It's actually so unfunny. There's, there's way too much swearing in that show. Because the show itself isn't actually that gory. There's moments of gore. But it's not like intense. But then the swearing is just so constant throughout the entire thing. Do you like it? It's alright. I don't think... It's not really something I'd watch. I, I, I definitely watched it out of curiosity, and each episode is like 20 minutes, so it's so easy to watch. The only character in that show I liked was the gay spider. And what can you do, my effeminate fellow? I can suck you. Ha! Ah, no. Don't you like the singing? Yeah, the, I, I didn't like the singing. I don't like how it's a musical, but like, again, it's, it's not a show made for me, like, at all. You're a side character on the show. Oh, you mean that Vox character with the TV head? Yeah, I saw that. It's even got, like, similar teeth as well. It's horrible. You feel bad for him? Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's had like his pop, he's had like his private commission shit exposed. So yeah, it is, it's kind of funny, haha. -ha. But also, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of sad. It's a little bit sad. But, I don't know, he's still strong from it. So, you know, who really cares? Again, I just, I just always thought it was embarrassing. You've got like people calling him a freak and stuff, and it's like, yeah, it's cringe. It's like he's he shipped himself with a fictional character. Like that's cringe. But again, like the the, the stuff I commissioned, like I got I got. <laughs> I'm not exactly. I I don't really have a soapbox to to speak on. Yeah, I'll be honest. That that that, that was like such a non-drama. Uh, who cares? It's 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 embarrassing, but like it's it's whatever. You know, like 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 that that that. Genuinely, there are probably realities out there where he got so embarrassed he just quit the internet entirely. But yeah, who cares? It's it's a it's a little bit cringe, but who care? I, th I think it's a good response. I think it's a good response. He didn't seem to address the thing about the minor, but I I still think that Twitter just made that up just to kind of you know shit on him. It's like oh this is really embarrassing, and it's a guy I don't like. He does cringy stuff. Uh, let's just add another layer onto it. Anyway, back to killing Polish people.